guys, so today's tutorial is going to be on this makeup look and I use the Anastasia Artist Palette, so I'm really excited to show you guys how it works. And yeah, let's get started. So to start out, ow, a bowl. So to start out, I'm going to moisturize using this Double Rose Rejuvenating Face Cream. This is good for all skin types and it has lots of vitamins and essential oils. And it also smells really nice. So for the under eyes, I'm going to use these really cool under eye patches from Chloran. These are nice for when your eyes are puffy or they need a little bit of moisture. I just put these on, on the under eyes and kind of let it chill there for a second. It's like, it's really cooling too, it feels nice. These would be nice if you like put them in the fridge. So while that's there and I look crazy, I'm gonna take a minute to tell you guys about um, this new exfoliating product that I've been using. This is a Clarice Sea Salt. It's a charcoal mask exfoliator. I've been exfoliating a lot more lately and I see a big difference in my skin. So this one, it actually, comes like this and you like mix it into the paste and then exfoliate your skin. So this is something that's new to my skincare regimen as well. So I'm going to go ahead and remove these. And for my foundation primer, I'm going to use today the Too Faced Hangover Primer. And this one's like, honestly to me, it almost feels like a moisturizer. I had been using the Makeup Forever Primer, but my skin was so dry that it was like, it would like cake up and like crack on my skin. It wasn't good at all for my dry skin. It was the mat mattifying primer. So I'm gonna use this one instead. So for my foundation, I'm using this Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This is a new product and I absolutely love it. You guys know I'm kind of on the hunt for a new foundation. I never find one I'm like 100% in love with, but this one is really nice. And I just lately have been using this big stipple foundation brush. This is from RC Cosmetics. So I'm really excited because I've been blogging my weight loss journey. Vlogging is weird. To anyone who's never done it, you don't think it's weird, but talking to yourself to your camera is weird. I give credit to any of the people who do vlog. Actually, and you know what I'm gonna do too, is I'm gonna take a little bit of that foundation and go ahead and put it on my lids as my eyeshadow base, because it's quick and easy. So after I do my foundation, I always go in and do my bronzer. So I have here this It Cosmetics uh, bronzer thingamajig and a MAC 116 brush. And I like to start on my five head. And for me, since my face is longer, I'm not going to concentrate too much of the contour or whatever, the darkness of the product on the sides of the face. I'm gonna keep it darker at the top of my forehead and sh uh, shade down. I think I'm gonna kind of get it in my hairline up there because it's looking a little pale. Next, I'm gonna do the cheekbones. This isn't usually what I use to uh, do my face, so it's like a little bit uncomfortable at first. You know when you have your one face brush you're used to, and you go to another one, it's like not as comfortable. So now I'm going to use a little bit of this Laura Mercier Universal Setting Powder, and I'm just using the same brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit and lightly dust it all over the face. Okay, so last night I was looking through Instagram, and uh, I was on Sandra Deluxe, page. I was looking at her makeup and got super inspired. I feel like I haven't done like cool creative makeup like that in a long time. Like here's a picture of her. Just amazing. Like her bone structure and her makeup is super precise. So today I want to do, particularly her brows were inspiring me. So I want to do some dramatic brows today because I feel like I haven't done that in a long time. So I'm gonna start out with a powder. This is from Anastasia. This is the Ash Blonde Taupe Duo. So I'm gonna start out with the lighter powder and with a small angle brush, I'm just gonna start to shade the front of the brow. And with the light powder, I'm gonna go ahead and shade the top of the brow too. So next I'm gonna go in with an eyebrow pencil. This one's from Chella. This is in the color Tantalizing Taupe. And I'm gonna go ahead and line the underneath of my brows and then go ahead and define the tail of the brow too. And I'm gonna kinda of connect it up here where the powder ends. And I'm not worrying about it being perfect because I'm gonna carve it out with concealer next. And over here, I'll take like the edge of the brush and kind of drag it upwards to create like fake little hairs. So next I'm gonna go in with my Motives concealer, but really you can just use any cream concealer. And I'm using a small flat brush and I'm gonna carve out the bottom line of the brow.
So for the eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Artist Palette, which I'm really excited about because the eyeshadows are super bright and pigmented and fun, and I feel like this is a good summer palette. So to prime the lids, I'm gonna start with this Vincent Longo Eye Stain. This is a new um, product for me. It's really interesting. I've never actually heard of an eye stain. And I'm just gonna put it on the lid to start with because I don't wanna take it all the way up the eye if it doesn't blend. Or maybe I will actually, I lied. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that dry. This picture on my Instagram has gotten so many comments of people either criticizing my body or criticizing Desi's and it's just ridiculous. Like people need to worry about themselves. Like it's crazy. They're either calling me too fat or Desi too skinny. <laughs> just kidding, I don't give a I look good. Desi look good. So to start with, I'm going to take this color called Dusty Rose and this Luxie 205 tapered brush. And I'm gonna tap the brush to make sure there's not too much product on it. And I'm gonna hold it at a slight angle upwards. And I'm just going to blend. Next, I'm taking this darker shade that I don't know how to pronounce. Let's all make fun of crispy. Aubergine. Did I miss that day? in school. Okay, so I'm gonna take that and a 217 brush and I'm gonna put that right into the crease. And also I'm gonna keep my eyes open so I can see where it's gonna sit when my eyes are open. And I'm being careful not to take it too far up into the dusty rose color because I want there to be a really nice gradation. And while I'm on this side, normally I don't jump around like this, but whatevs. I'm gonna take a little bit of this punch fuchsia tap the brush so there's not a lot on there. And I'm gonna just dust it over this area lightly to try and give it a little bit more color. Next, I'm gonna take this shade called Unicorn in a flat brush, and I'm just gonna pack this right onto the lid. So as I'm getting up into the crease, I'm actually just gonna lighten pressure, but I'm doing the same motion. And this is gonna help blend it up into the crease. And I'm leaving this area kind of blank over here because I'm going to go in with a darker shade. I'm gonna go back in with the crease color and kind of darken the crease. Now I'm going back in with the unicorn color. I'm gonna pack it over the lid and lighten pressure as I'm going up into the crease. Next I'm gonna take this color called Coal and I'm putting it in the outer area of the lid, kind of in a packing motion. And again, I'm just lightening pressure wherever I want it to blend. And I'm gonna start working it into the crease right here. I'm not okay with this. So I'm gonna take this crease brush and try and blend that out. So now that my under eyes, I mean my under eyes, <laughs> I mean my eyeshadow is basically finished, I'm gonna do my under eye concealer. At the moment, I'm using powders under the eyes because creams and liquids do not work for me. They crease in my eyes and that whole baking thing, I look like a 50 year old woman when I do that. It's so heavy on my eyes, so I don't know. This is what's working for me at the moment. So this is Studio Fix Powder in NC30. It's a little bit darker, normally I do NC20, but I'm not gonna go too light on the under eyes today, unfortunately. Did you just fart, Jeff? No, did you? I heard that. What are you talking about? I heard you fart. I didn't fart. Trust me. Oh, you know. Okay, so right now I'm not liking how it's so far over here uh, on the inside of the eyes. So I'm gonna take the same transition brush, this Luxie brush that I've been using, and a little bit of the NC30. And now with very little product on the brush, I'm just gonna buff it up into this eye socket where it's just too dark. For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to use this color called Fit from The Bomb Cosmetics. This is a little itty bitty guy that came in my Ipsy Glam bag. And the dudes inside of this thing look like the manservants at Desi's party. Desi had her had a party for to celebrate reaching 1 million subscribers. Congrats, Desi Boo. And um, she actually had man servants at the party serving champagne with aprons on and nothing else. Enjoy this clip. Hey. 
Anyways, so I'm gonna take a little bit of this really pretty shimmery like gold. I'm gonna put this right in the tear duct area. So before I blend it up into the blue, I'm gonna pack it on this area first so that I don't like dirty the brush with the blue. Now I'm gonna kind of wipe off the brush so there's not too much on there. And just really lightly, I'm gonna blend that in. And even, I could take this color called Buttery from the Artist Palette and put this like a little bit further over into the tear duct. So for the waterline, I'm going to use a pencil. This is from um, Bella Pierre. This is a gel mineral waterproof liner. And I'm gonna just use this to line the lash line. I'm not taking it too far over because I don't wanna close off the eyes. For the waterline, I'm gonna take this pencil me in. See, pencil me in. I'm gonna put this in the waterline. Oh, and BT dubs. I've been using the pencil sharpener that comes on top of this pencil. It gets your pencils so sharp, like needlepoint sharp. So it's great for the lip line when you're doing a nude lip and you need it to be really precise. This pencil seems like it might need some warming up. So I'm just gonna put it actually in the palm of my hand like this and let it warm up. And that's going to let it go on my waterline easier and not tug on my eye. So since this one's just in the waterline, taking it a little bit further over, kind of like to right where the tear duct starts. And I'm gonna just smudge it down to blend in with the black pencil. Next, I'm gonna blend out the lower lash line, which is uber important. And I think I'm gonna start with this color that I can't pronounce. And this is B Pro brush all over shader. I like to use something that's a little bit stiff to blend the lower lash line because then it can kind of get in there and blend the eyeliner. And I'm even gonna go below this inner corner highlight. Ooh, these eyeshadows are so nice. Back in with the Luxie brush. Just kind of blend that out. Now I'm going to go in with the black eyeshadow. I'm gonna tap the brush very carefully because I don't wanna get fallout. I probably should have done this before I did my under eye concealer. And I'm gonna kind of just line this outside half of my eye with the eyeshadow. Next, I'm going to put on some mascara and I'm gonna use my favorite mascara from Hot Makeup. Jeff farted again. Okay, so I'm going to use uh, these House of Lashes Starlit Lashes. Iconics are my favorite, but we do a little something different. So occasionally on these House of Lashes lashes, they'll be like a, the lash band extends a little bit out and it'll like stab you in the eye. So I'm gonna trim that off and also Trim the lashes like almost in half basically. Now I'm taking this disgusting House of Lashes glue, which I have a new one, but I like this one. And since this glue is like pretty sticky because it's a little old, I don't have to wait as long for the glue to get tacky. And I'm just gonna put them here on the outside half of the eye. And the first time you apply House of Lashes lashes, they're always like a little bit more tricky because they're not molded to the shape of your eye yet. I'm also gonna take a little bit of mascara and just blend my natural lashes with the falsies. Okay, well, so I'm gonna take this little bitty brush and this coal pencil again. And I'm just gonna put this right on the lash line, which this is also an adopted brush, not quite sure where it came from. So now I'm gonna contour the nose and I'm using Anastasia Contour Kit, the original one. And I'm gonna take this middle shade. And ever since I did that contour video, you guys, I can't get my contour the same and it drives me crazy. I'm gonna try that today. Start underneath the Smack 217 brush. Now I'm gonna go down the ridge of my nose cheat it here where I want it to be more narrow and then take it out. And I'm gonna take a flat brush and just refine that line just a tiny bit here. And next I'm gonna take my broken uh, broken sculpting duo from uh, Makeup Forever. And I guess this is two. And I'm gonna put this right on the ball of my nose, but I'm not putting it down here. I'm actually putting it higher up. And also I'm gonna take Whatever finger is not dirty, which happens to be my ring finger. I'm gonna put this right on the tops of my cheekbones. I'm gonna take a little bit of this and put it right here in the inner corner as well, just to kind of brighten that up. And to finish up the face, I'm gonna take a little bit of this corally orange blush. This is from Too Faced. And I'm gonna put it right here on the cheeks. Okay, now for the lip, you're gonna wanna do something nude. So I'm going to take my favorite liner for nude at the moment, which is Oak Liner from MAC. So I'm gonna line my lips. So I'm staying true to my natural lip line over here. 
And then up here in the center of the lips, I'm gonna just overline them slightly. That's gonna give you like the really like pouty look. And then I'm gonna go below the like lip curl down here. I'm gonna stay narrow over here. Now I'm going to take Myth lipstick, which is my favorite nude. Now, because I look like it doesn't look good, I'm gonna go back in with Oak and I'm gonna um, blend it in. And last but not least, I'm gonna finish with a little bit of this cargo lip gloss. It's called Sahara. Okay, so that's the whole look. I hope you guys like it and that you get a chance to try out the Anastasia Artist Palette. It's an awesome palette and all of her eyeshadows are bomb.com. And so yeah, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Also leave me your video requests. I feel like I haven't done a lot of makeup tutorials lately. So uh, leave me your requests down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you guys next time, bye.